Hey, my name is Elijah and today I would like to show you how uh, to point a domain name from Namecheap to Contable VPS. This very tutorial I've written a long article or a well-explained article uh, which has the step-by-step -step guide that you can follow to uh, set up your domain from name from Namecheap uh, to Contable. If you don't want to listen or watch this video, then you can just read this article, the article version of this video, and then it has everything that you need to set up everything. Now let's proceed. Uh, what you need to do is to log into your Contable dashboard, and then you have to go to DNS Zone Management. This is where you're gonna. This is what you're gonna use uh, to set up your domain under DNS Zone Management. And then what you need to do is to go back to your uh, Namecheap account and then find the target domain that one that you wanna use. So in this example, we're gonna use Temp Sprout. Yeah, it's one of my domains, tempsprout.com. And then you copy Temp Sprout, and then you go to uh to to countable and then you you type in or paste the domain that you want to use and then the next step is target ip address target ip address this means that you have to target the ip address of the server on which you want to host your application or you are trying to host your application now, in this example, I only have one IP address, but for your case, you may have several IP addresses, meaning that you have so many uh, servers. So you have to make sure you select the right IP address for the server you want to use. Now, once you select the IP address from the drop down, then you have to create zone. Okay, so when you create a zone, Contable will automatically create for you a couple of records that you need to use for your uh, server. Now, as you can see, we have the A record, the WW record. Uh, we have another A record targeting the IP address. We have the mail. They assume that you're going to run a mail server. So they've, in the, in, in, they've added for you the mail.tempsprout.com. So they assume that you're gonna use a mail server on your application. So they will automatically add for you a couple of uh, records or DNS records that you need to get your domain up and running for your application. Now, after the DNS zone has been created for you, the next step is to add the Contable name servers inside Namecheap. The Contable name servers are actually located they are found in the same dns zone file so they are these ones ns1.contable.net ns2.contable.net ns3.contable.net so we need to copy these name servers and then we go to our name chip domain and then go to manage so we cre we cre we click on manage and then we have to scroll a little bit down we have to scroll. I already had some couple of domain. I, I had some uh, uh, I had some custom name servers there. I was using this domain, but I stopped using it. So when you scroll down under name servers, by default you will find that it's using Namecheap Basic DNS. But you have to click the drop down. And then you go to custom dns now under custom dns you have to start pasting the countable name servers and then you go back again and you copy ns2.countable.net so you you paste and then you go for the last one which is ns3.countable.net you paste this one okay so basically there are three name servers from countable ns1.countable.net ns2.countable.net and ns3.countable.net the next step is to click the green bar or the grid button and then we save our changes 
Okay, the DNS update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. In most cases, the propagation process may take less than uh, 48 hours, but in some cases, it may take longer than expected. So if your DNS propagation process is not going as smoothly, all you have to do is to make sure you wait up to 48 hours. But in this case, I've always, because I've been using Contour for a long time, uh, I've been using Contour for a long time, and uh, uh, the propagation pro process is always instant in most cases. Now, let me repeat for you this step one more time. Log in, log, log in to your Contour dashboard, and then you have to go to DNS Zone Management, and then you add your domain that you want to use, and then select the IP address of your server, of your v VPS, and then create a zone. Now, when the zone is created, you will see that uh, uh the default records will be also created for you automatically by contable now inside the contable you also find the name servers for contable now you're gonna copy these name servers and then go to name chip and then down name servers custom dns and then you add na uh, those name servers and save now to check if the propagation is moving or is successful all you have to do is to copy your name and go to dnschecker.org and then paste your domain there. When you paste your domain there, then you can search. As you can see, our DNS propagation process has been instant. You can see that all, all the propagation has provisioned and this is the IP address of the server that we are using in this case. As you can see, this is the same IP address and this is the same IP address. This is an indication that the propagation process has been successful and you can go ahead and use your domain for your application on your server. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll leave a link in the description below for this article so you can also read it if you've not understood the video or you've not understood my explanation then you can also read this article and understand everything you need to know on how to set up a domain name from Namecheap to Contour VPS. Thank you so much. I request you to subscribe to this channel and also hit the like button as it helps me to, uh, to encourages me to create more content like this. Thank you so much for subscribing and for your support. See you again.